so from my Is anyone just over you these like, ridiculous Congress things? What's going on, team? It's Ricky with Tactical Solutions. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen uh, Facebook was supposedly under fire because of a whistleblower that is sharing things with Congress or trying to answer Congress's questions um, on things we all literally know about. I, I just, again, this might just be me. It might be a very unpopular opinion. You can let me know in the comment section. If you don't want to be using or be controlled by social media platforms, just don't use them. Like, why can't we just take accountability for ourselves? Like, of course, these platforms are going to do everything in their power to gain and grow more with users. It's like their job, right? If you feel like you're on Facebook too much, delete the app. If you feel like you're on Instagram too much, delete the app. If you feel like you're watching too many videos and you're not being productive, take accountability for yourself and delete the app. That might just be me. Very unpopular opinion. Um, I don't feel like these whistleblowers are ever sharing anything that we don't actually know. We know Facebook does a bunch of things to try to retarget us, to try to get us to engage with those apps more and more. And um, yeah, Facebook did sell off yesterday, but so did the entire market. Maybe it sold off, Facebook sold off maybe a little bit more than the average overall market. But um, guess what I did today? This again, probably unpopular opinion. Uh, I bought more Facebook. Facebook, I don't see it to be going anywhere. Just like when they had Mark Zuckerberg and all the people in Congress was asking Mark, how is it that Facebook makes money? It's like, really? These are the people in charge asking a billionaire on how he makes money on his social media platform? I don't know. It's kind of concerning. But I bought the dip. I bought the dip in a tasteful way. I do know that, yeah. Facebook can continue to sell off just like the market can continue to drop. But looking at the day chart, it's hard to overlook that Facebook has a market cap of 900 billion. It's very bullish, very consistent, and it does pull back from time. But the most important thing is the direction is in our favor. And because of where Facebook is at right now, if it were to make a recovery, offers about 18, about ah, 16 to 17%. I view that to be very attractive, which is why I bought the dip. I don't have to agree with the company and, and all it does. I just have to understand the business. And Facebook is, is a very well-structured and profitable business. So um, I don't mean to get political. I Again, I want to respect all of your guys' opinions when it comes down to you know, control. And, and if you don't want to use Facebook, then don't use it. Um, but I just feel like all these people do are share data or information of things we all know about. It's never anything new, and it almost seems like they're doing it just for attention. Um, on a positive note, AMC is doing pretty good. I uh, wanted to update you guys on this. I updated you guys on my red day. Uh, today, we're up a little bit over 2,000. Also, on TQQQ, we're up 4.7%. Up 850 there. And then P2M, I'm up a little bit over 197. Um, am I aggressively, right? A question a lot of you guys might have is, am I aggressively... I wanted to make this video, not just for the Facebook joke that I had for you guys, um, but am I aggressively buying the dip on all the blue chip stocks, right? You guys know with my Fidelity account, I'm invested in Starbucks, I'm invested in Twitter, I'm invested in PayPal. I'm buying the dip on Amazon, all these different great quality bullish companies, but it's because the market recently pulled on back, right? I don't want to set false expectations and I don't want to get too excited myself. We've seen it before where the market slightly recovers and then gets rejected once again. Please be careful with your position. If you decide to buy the dip, do it in a tasteful way. We still have so much time for this thing to indicate signs of a reversal. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree. It's one of the worst feelings where you aggressively buy the dip because you think we're about to recover and then the market sells off again. And now you're just sitting on your hands, hoping and praying that the market recovers. Don't be one of those people. Keep it tasteful, don't get too excited, and be selective with when you decide to buy more and average up into your stock. Because again, we're still in the very early stages of a potential reversal. But I thought I can shed some light on the little lighthearted joke of uh, Facebook. And even while this Congress uh, hearing is, is happening, Facebook is up 1.9%. Uh, I think it's pretty hilarious. So um, I hope that you guys are excited for the market to recover. I'm very excited. 
Uh, the market still has a lot to prove. Let's stay patient. Let's stay selective. Let's continue to build that watch list, set effective alerts, and follow up with these stocks when we have more of a true direction of an indication of a reversal. So I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please share your thoughts down in the comment section. Do you think Facebook is actually going to crash because of this whistleblower? What are they gonna share about Mark Zuckerberg that we don't know already that he is a lizard or that he is a robot? It's like, no, it's just like any other businessman that is making sure that they focus on continuous growth, not only for himself, but for his investors and his company, just like any of us would do, right? I am a big believer in self-control. If you feel like you're doing or using too much of something, hold yourself accountable and just stop. You can delete the app. These are all things you can do out of free will. They're not making you go on these platforms. It's something that you have the decision to do. Again, um, if you guys have any stories, feel free to share down in the comment section. You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But I appreciate you guys' time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year in a green note. And if you guys want to join our live trading session tomorrow at Market Open, that's going to be that second link down below. Take care, team.